Okay, in this video I'm going to do a slightly harder example of completing the square. And I'm going to find the solution to this quadratic equation, 2x squared minus 6x plus 3. The first thing you could do, honestly, is divide everything by 2 and make it x squared minus 3x plus 3 halves equals 0. And then you could use the same trick that we did before in the previous video. But I'm actually going to do it... Um, by factoring. And the reason I'm going to do it is if you're actually trying to put a, an equation into vertex form, a quadratic equation, I think the way we're going to do it here would be a little more instructive. So the idea, again, just like in the first video, is you want the coefficient on the x squared, you want the coefficient um, on x squared to be a 1. Okay, well, to do that, we have to factor a 2 out. And again, I'm only playing with the x terms here, so this is just, just what will make it work. So if I factor a 2 out, I would need x squared minus 3x left over, so plus 3 equals 0. And then again, what we do, just like in the other video, is we take 1 half of the number, which is negative 3, and that will give us, well, negative 3 halves, we square that and put it back inside. So the number that's going to go back inside here is actually going to be positive 9 over 4, because that's negative 3 halves times negative 3 halves. Okay, so now we have to um, subtract away a little bit to account for that. So notice if we were to multiply this thing out, what would we have? We would have 2x squared, like before, we would have a negative 6x, but when I multiply the 2 and the 9 fourths, so again I'm multiplying by 2, which is 2 over 1. If I multiply, I'll get 18 over 4, which is 9 halves. So that would be the number that's actually not in there from the original part. Again, if I multiply, I'll get 2x squared minus 6x. I'll get a plus 9 halves that should not be there. And then my plus 3, which should be there. So to account for the extra 9 halves, again, even though we put 9 fourths, we're multiplying by 2, I actually have to subtract away 9 halves. And then there's my plus 3 that was there at the beginning. Okay, so usually this is kind of the tricky step, I think, most often for people. So um, again, just multiply it out and see that you have to have a negative 9 halves for everything to cancel out and get you back to the original part. Okay, so now it's just a little bit of um, algebra and arithmetic. So I'm going to write 3 as 6 over 2 if I get common denominators. So I've got 2. This factors is x minus 3 over 2 squared. And then I've got negative 9 over 2 plus 6 over 2. Well, that's going to give me negative 3 over 2 equals 0. And then just like the last problem um, in the other video, we'll isolate the stuff on the left side, we'll add 3 halves to both sides, um, we'll divide both sides by 2, or equivalently we can multiply both sides by 1 half, so by 1 half, and let me get myself some more space here. So on the left side, the 1 half and the 2 will cancel out. We'll be left with x minus 3 over 2 squared. Um, on the right side, we have 3 over 4 when we multiply. And then what we do is we take the square root of both sides. So on the left side, we'll get x minus 3 halves. So I'm going to take the square root of the left, the square root of the right. And remember, when we take square roots, we have to put a plus or minus on one side. So we'll get positive, negative, square root of 3 over 4. And remember, if you have a square root of a fraction, you can break it up as the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom. So square root of 3 over square root of 4. But remember, the square root of 4 is really just the number 2. And lastly, all we'll do is we'll add 3 halves to both sides. So that'll give us x equals 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of 3 over 2. So again, this gives us our two solutions. If we take this number and break it up again, that means we have two solutions in this, in this case, 3 halves 
plus square root of 3 over 2, and then our other solution is 3 halves minus square root of 3 over 2. Okay, so I hope um, that this video helps out. I hope the other one does as well. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post comments, and hopefully either me or somebody else can help you out.